Kukul ke fatap ke pototap wafia yoto atau botolotonga ke fatap ke area motua fana mui mahapuna hawai ke tau fonua fatap ke a kau nga mahi moe hau ma kris lofit motole fare kau mata pule fatap at ke he setua talahi mukol setua ta motol ke tau pe tai tai lirei motol ke tau pe tau kau fatahen ka ma ke motol ke tau pe kau mahi he vahau pe me i hawai ke fok ke a lopet mu malaysia. Ki mo to mei tonga, mo ge a fa ki fa ta bu ka fa ha ta tokon, me re soni koi, ki pa lo lo a re soni, a ma nak pe tokon mai pe ei ki, ki o te mo fo i he fa non ki ta ma langa koi tuku pa ki he ui a lau ma ri e, ui a lau ma ri ma o nyoni ko si na ta usio ki ai, pa ula mo pa ne pa sa, pa he i ki na o mo i ko speri pa na a ve ki ta nga te koi ni ko soni ma a ki. Ko ngo i koe re son koe ni ko rea mai ke te tau tau lo ngai tu ku ngo koe ni ku ho ku tau ngo sia ngai sia si i a hon ke fa kalo to lahi pe ke te tau tau. So on being committed to the Spirit's call, that the Spirit had called Barnabas and Paul to take the gospel out, and they took along with them John Mark. John Mark is the writer of the Mark's gospel. But then in this passage that we're just about to look into, John Mark deserted them. Abandoned them and decided to go back. So, okia e fa kau kau etol o ku ha ma o mehe pot for for goeni ti ura ki pehe he ki ura ki o pehe o tau tuku pa ki he ui alau marie ki malanga ki o ngong le rei ne o ngoe lahi ngai fa kafe a tungia o zio no ui o ngo tanga tahu i kuosi ki ai fa kafe a tungia ku o hoko i hen tau rau fa tahi ki konga ko investa tau ki tani ma. Pego tugat mei pa fosi e folawa pa ulana na uhoko ki peaka i pamfilia, pe na iriaki ki naua e sione, o ne foki ki selsalem. Kaka fowat pe ki naua mei peaka o na hoko ki andeok, aia o ku ipistia, pe aansa pate na na hu ki failotu o nofuhifo, pe hiri lau e tohi lau me tohi palofita, e fekau mai ka upure o failotu ki fahage te ki naua, si yong mata apure, ka bau kwe ha motokon ki fai ki kakai, Pea morea mai, ko hoa tonu tau eiki, ka hitai ke otu. Ai ya koe mea mau inga he ni, koe na oen, na madu na tau seu ko si, na nao ki imotu ko, ko sai palo, no fai, uluia fai to ta, koe ko van nao e motu, se si o paula. Na heken me ai, na toe foken ke fonua lahi, e si aminu, alo koe fononga famisnare ulua, koe feitu en ko iloa koe ko karetia, koe ngahi kolo e koe nyo peaka, koe ava i pamfilia, te na alo atu ai teape mo fefua, Eho kwa tue na fono nga te tau sio ke ai e reson o iwi ke kaha u. To meko fwam ke tau tokan ke ai ko nori aki ki na ua e sio ne. Na yongo e obite paula fwa imea koe ne. Ave sio ne koe tauhi, li aki na ua e sio ne pe a foki e ki seu salemu. Na e toe fwa amo pa ane pasa na fono nga hono ua ke toe omai e sio ne ke na ua kaunga fono nga. Na ka ilotu ka paula pe na mawae ua e yongo tama. Aurewa paula e musa ilosi. Kai alo pa ne pasa mo sio ne maaki, pa kai ke tau to ilo to buka hamene au ka pa ne pasa. To ilo to e fakajo se mo uia paula na te fok ma sio ne maaki eia, o hoko koe tahau e kau nga fononga, o paula na ne tohi mai mei priisio ne i kolose na nofo e mo sio ne maaki, kore ki a ti mote i au ti mote ba e fage, o mai a sio ne maaki, fakataha mo e u konga tohi, e ku au nga ki he nga awe, kai ke, ko no ri aki ki na ua e sio ne na e hoko eia koe fakafe a tungi eia koe fakalo to si i. Ki e whanonga o whaika nai kai ke na tukai. Na e hoko tupe whanonga e na whanonga whamisnare. Koe uhi ke maa ngai whainga maari e ke malanga ia e kosperi. Ka wikai ko hamea whoo. Mose ki na mo e whanonga si isue ni kau wako. Na ia e fuka kaina nau li ake e ko si isue krasi. Sio ne wahe o noe o se ne hanga whafanga e futo ni maafe. Pe ne whai e ne ako naki ko kau ki he maago e na e whafanga a ki na toe toa fa. Be darang si isue mole maago ia ko au ia. Koe maa e mehe langi, koe maa mo nia ko awe ni o kou hau. Nau pehe nau tolo e whanongo ki ai, koe rea fe fekain. Koe hae e kaataki e whanongo ki mea koe ia. Pe tal mai rewa, na e foki ha toko lahi o ne kau wako, i kaite nau ke io whano moe. Na mo e fuka kai koe ni toko ni maafe pe fiana nau alu, na e foki e fuka lahi. Wao ke pehe a si isu ke ne kau wako ngu fru maa wa, nau nau fie o mo ki nau to. Nau nau kau mo ki nau to e fie. Alu kai ri aki e ko si isu kraisi. Ai ko ku hinga tala noa, o kai ko hamea fo o ho no ri aki tau tolu, ho no ri aki o paula e sio ne koe ngai mea koe ni tau amnaki e hoko peia e ngai i tau ngawe koe ni ke kosperi, tau mo ui ke kosperi. 
Kaya nga tabay kakao tui na yung nga ubita si Isu e mahino kwe toko taha me kawo ng furumawa tene lava ki iya. Fakao kao kwe. Toko taha be ya kakai kwe na na ufono ngome tawe tolo. Ni dalangi kakao toko taha be oi kawo ng furumawa aya wala faka taha mwau ihe tisi. Koka taha me itua. Toko taha be iloto na ni hanga lava ki iya eki. Kaya nga tayo kwe fakao kao kya pita. Ko pita kwe takia kwa apostolo kwe toko taha ina faike falala eko si Isu kwa isi he na ufunonga kwa tobi kwa toko taha ina ula kufuwa ui e si Isu fufuwa faka hingoa he kwa apostolo pana neriliu hono hingoa kwa kifasi kwa maka kwa hiko fakau kau e tu faka maka tu maino kwa si Isu e aha kwe kwe e lawa ki ya hiya tene faka fisi ngai e ya hae eki aya kwe kwe mena e ongo wapita ki he eki ai kakai na na ufunonga moia na uli aki ya he moment kwenye fema endo kai nga tayo bata yo seke nga uka a paula fa au fa mabega tayo ufa kau kau ke mea tamai paula e ne tohi kwe timo te kwenye tohi faka au sin me prisho ne tohi bene tu e taha i fa mau anga ko sisa pe tama te iya ne talan kuo hiki ko tope me au a ki nao tolu esia na uli aki ya fuka kai ko esia tu kuke he ki family kwenye onis folo te tau shio ki ai hevan ki family pe taha na tohi Kaha toa e ngai kolo ko e siya, whakau kau kia Efeso, Filipa, kia kua e kua Filipa, Efeso, ngai siasko e fitu kua e kaua kolose ai, na tua kolose e ki feitu koia. Tama e paula hene toa e whakau asko e mpiso hene, ko nau hiki ko toa pe, nau li ako toa pe apostolo. Ai kua kua inga ki whakau toa hene, neonga ngai whakau fea atungia koin, he kai tuku e tau ngau e kai kosperi. E kua fua whakau matala, kua ni tala noa na koe, ki ni waki haa e whakau mau anga koe o sisa. Nga kai kia hataha ye tu mo e siya, na e ikai hata ko taha e popo wau, ka ka ri aki yao e ki nao tolu ko toa pe. Na nao ri aki ko toa pe, a apostolo. A ko pe, kwa kia ngata pe i heno ri aki, i tau tolu he kakai, i tau kau fata mo ki nao tolu, ka u fema u me tau mo ui, kwa inga me ngai me tau mo ui ke ri aki. Ke e hui hui me tau mo ui ngai faka ma mafa ko toa pe a yang hara. Ko e hui e kwa ngai me te ne faka fea tungia e tau lele faka pue pue. Sio kwa ngai fwa fea tungi ae ke fononga a paula mo 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 pane pasa no li aki ki nawa e sio ne foki ki seu sarema. Li aki he kawa ko a sisu. Li aki he fuka kai ko to o e sia minua a paula. E pehebe mo e tau fononga. Ka e ona tau loto si. Ona na tuka e tau fononga, tau loto to a peko hi. E na e hoko at besi fononga ko e mo fwa uta ke si tau ko a paula e prisone. Tewe ni ko e ke 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 fai e ni ha fwa ka osi ko e. Kwa ki ha taha ya e. Nah kerja hatta hai tu umur ni rocky ha, kau ia tu kata hai begus enough prison. Oh semua kakai ya kau ni fai kau ni falala, nak hiki nak tolong ni teh. Kebaw ya tau ngawi, oh begitu tau fafet tak begitu tau tua. Tau tua kau tua, kau tua begitu tau fakir dek tau tolong ke fai tau tau kau ni. So we are committed to the spirit's call to preach the gospel, even though there will be many many setbacks. Let's read this together. Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Berga in Pamphylia. But John left them and went back to Jerusalem. They continued their journey from Berga and reached Pisidian Antioch. On the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the leaders of the synagogue sent word to them, saying, Brothers, if you have any word of encouragement for the people, you can speak. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks for you. So John was their assistant, was meant to be the person who accompanied them in this journey. And now, after the after I think two stops in their journey, in the missionary journeys, the first missionary journey of Paul, John left them, deserted them. And the second time, when they came to do the second the second journey, uh, Barnabas wanted to take John on board again, but Paul didn't. So, which means that this was a big thing for Paul that John Mark left them uh, in the ministry, in their journey, in the ministry. But you know, it's not strange when people leave us in ministry and even when we ourselves, I mean, we just only started our church only six years. Now we've seen people leaving our ministry uh, for all kinds of different reasons, right? But even in Jesus' ministry, right? Um, you know, this is after he has fed the 5,000 and he was teaching them about himself being the bread of life. And they said, this is, this is too hard. This is a, a hard word. We're not going to receive it. We're, going, we're not going to accept it. We're going to leave. And so therefore, many of his disciples, imagine that, about 5,000 people were there. At the end of the day, all of them left. Only 12 were, were there with him. So many of the disciples then back and no longer accompanied him. So Jesus said to the 12, he even said to them, you don't want to go away too, do you? 
So he was only left with the 12, see? People deserting even Jesus in his teaching because it was too hard for them to bear the teachings of Jesus. And then even, uh, even perhaps when he, he knew that uh, one of his own people will uh, betray him, it must have been really hard for Jesus. Judas, and he said to them, one of you will betray me, right? It's because it was really difficult for Jesus to see that you know, this is a person who's been walking with him for three years you know, in his ministry. Now he is turning against him. It must have been hard for Jesus. But even Peter, think about it. Peter was the leader. He was the leading apostle. Right? But here is Jesus in the times when he is in need. He wanted somebody to stand by him. And Peter was committed. He said, look, you know, if, even if everyone will leave you, Jesus, I will be with him. Jesus said to him, you know, before the a rooster will not crow until you denied me three times. It must have been heavy on Jesus' heart, knowing that, you know, the leading, the leading apostle, the leading person of his followers, and even one of his own followers would betray him. But you see, this is the burden of ministry. This is all the kind of setbacks we will face in ministry. Even Jesus himself had experienced, but even Paul, Paul in his ministry, this is his last letter when he wrote to Timothy. That was the last letter he wrote from prison. He's waiting for the last time for him to appear before Caesar's court. And he said to Timothy, all those in the province of Asia have deserted me, including Phygelus and Hermogenes. Now, he's naming those two perhaps They were leaders of the church. They were well known. Even Timothy knew about them. See, but they left. See, it was the end of Paul's life. These are the people he had trusted. They left him. We're not told what the reason was. Something that dissatisfied with Paul, dissatisfied with what Paul had or said or something. May the Lord grant mercy to the household, household of Onesiphorus. So only one family left uh, in the whole province of Asia. Right? So I want to encourage you, it's not, it's not new that people leave us. So at, at his first defense, his sport, Paul said, in my, at my first defense, no one stood by me, but everyone deserted me. So he must have needed somebody to stand with him before Caesar, but no one would be there. They were all deserting him. See? And then, of course, you know, um, I think you know, we're just talking about people leaving the ministry, leaving us behind. But there is even in us personally, in a person, on a personal dimension, we ourselves really need to rid ourselves of the sins that so easily ensnares us, right? Not only we look at people leaving us, but we also have to depart from old sins in our lives. Because these are the things that would ruin us as we run with endurance the race that lies before us. So we're going to be, to, to be aware that, that John, John left Paul and Barnabas expect that people may leave us or even betray us, right? That's just the, that's just the nature of, of Christian ministry, of gospel ministry, right? Even at the end, Paul only had one family left in Asia. It must have been really uh, sad for Paul. It must have been a heavy burden in his heart. Well, I, it is my prayer. It won't, be, it won't be that situation for us here. But be encouraged. Cheer up. It's just it's the same. We, nothing new happened here in, in the world. Right? The Lord is looking after his church. He knows the people that belongs to him, and he knows the people that don't belong to him. Pero <laughs> 
kesi su klaisi ko fram ke ke elo faton hia ko ko fram ke ke ma ova mo ui ko fram ke ke fra pa pa ka ke ka ma te an de ke algi he van he ko ka ka e ko ke na ilo to ko na to de to ma te pe ka to ki va ka ia ko alu e ki he ri ka ko ba te ke tu he ko me ta ma ka ke ka tu e ko si su klaisi fa ka to nu hia ko he a o fra ma o anga o ta o to so number two we are committed to the call of the spirit to preach the gospel because God has raised for us a savior Jesus. So this is a bit long verses 16 to 39 let's read this together. He stood up and motioned with his hand and said fellow Israelites and you who fear God listen. The God of his people Israel chose out of ancestors made the people prosper during their stay in the land of Egypt and led them out of it with a mighty arm. And for about 40 years he put up with them in the wilderness. And after destroying seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them the land the inheritance. This all took place for 150 years. After this, he gave them judges and their Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. After removing him, he raised up David as their king and testified about him. I found David, the son of Jesse, to be a man after my own heart who will carry out all my will. From this man's descendants, as he promised, God brought to Israel the Savior, Jesus. Before his coming to public attention, John had previously proclaimed the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. Now, as John was completing his mission, he said, Who do you think I am? I'm not the one, but one is coming after me, and I'm not worthy to untie the sandals on his feet. Brothers and sisters, children of Abraham's race, and those among you who fear God, it is for us that the word of this salvation has been sent. Since the residents of Jerusalem and their rulers did not recognize him, with the sayings of the prophets that are read every Sabbath, they have fulfilled the words by condemning him. Though they found no crowns for the death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him killed. When they had carried out all that had been written about him, they took him down to the tree, and put him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. He appeared many days to those who came up with him from to Jerusalem, for now he's witness to the people. And we ourselves proclaim to you the good news, the promise that was made to our ancestors. God has fulfilled this for us, their children, by raising up Jesus. As it's written in the second psalm, you are my son, today I become your father. As to his raising him from the dead, never to return to decay, he has spoken in this way, I will give you the holy and sure promises of David. Therefore he also says in another passage, you will not let your holy one see decay. For David, after serving God's purpose in his own generation, fell asleep, was buried with his fathers, and decayed. But the one God raised up did not decay. Therefore let it be known to you, brothers and sisters, that through this man's forgiveness of sins is being proclaimed to you, everyone who believes is justified through him, from everything that you could not be justified from through the law of Moses. It's the word of the Lord. Thanks for you. So you see the whole, this is the, the, uh, the sermon that Paul preached in the church in Antioch in Pisidia. It, it's a summary of it, right? It's almost like uh, one or one, one and a half minutes to read it. He must have spoken longer than that. But this is a summary, a summary of it. So he has given a summary of the whole Bible from the uh, election, the exodus, the judges, Saul, and then David, through David, a saviour came. And then he spent the rest of the time explaining who this saviour was. John the Baptist pointed to him that he's the one. And then he was condemned by those in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging in a tree. But he was raised from the dead. And he appeared. Right? He proved himself to be raised from the dead by appearing to those he had journeyed with in Galilee. And now they're the witnesses. And then Paul is also... And, and Barnabas is also proclaiming this person to them. But they are aware in their head there were other people who were raised from the dead by Jesus. Remember, uh, Lazarus was raised from the dead. And then Jairus, the, uh, Jairus' daughter was raised from the dead. But they all died, right? They were raised from the dead, but all died. But this one, so they had to explain it to them. This one has been raised from the dead not to die again. So he remains forever. He's the king, the son of God who will remain forever to be the ruler, the savior, the one through whom forgiveness of sins proclaimed to you, but also everyone who believes in him is justified. 
from everything that you could not be justified uh, from through the law. So what are the things that we could not be justified for, uh, from, from the, through from the law of Moses? So this is what I want to ex uh, explain to you. Well, we are all lawbreakers. Because James says, whoever keeps the entire law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking it all. So if you've been keeping, all, uh, if, if you're not a, a, a thief, right, you have been keeping do not steal, but you're lying, you're breaking the whole thing, right? And all of us, all of us are like this, right? We, we may think in our head maybe we are good because we keep maybe three, we're not stealing, we don't lie, well, only sometimes, um, you know, we don't murder, but what about the rest, right? So James is saying all of us are guilty because we keep some, we break some, and also, so the, therefore, we're all lawbreakers, right? And then it says, Paul says in Galatians 3, everyone who does not do everything, everything written in the book of the law is cursed. So God's, God's demand, God's expectation from all of us in keeping the law is to keep everything all the time. But we all fail. And therefore, there is a curse under all of us because we don't do everything written in the book of the law. And this is how the law works in our hearts, right, to condemn us. See, in our flesh, this flesh thing that is hanging to the bones, uh, dwells sin. So sin lives in our flesh, right? And when we hear the good, command, the, the good commands of God, that's what Paul is saying, I would not have known sin if it were not for the law. Right? For example, I wouldn't have known what it is to covet if the law had not said, do not covet. So when the law said, do not covet, sin in me, seizing the opportunity through the commandment, produced in me coveting of every kind. For apart from the law, sin is dead. So this is why we are condemned by the law. See? Because, er because sin lives in us. And every time we hear the good commandments of God saying, don't do this, don't do this, it creates sin, holds on to it, and creates in us a desire to break the, the law of God. Right? And therefore, we will we'll always be condemned by the law. The law is good, but because sin lives in us, and therefore, we are unable to keep the law. We are unable, we don't have any power in us to keep the law of God. And so this is why the sting of death in sin and the power of sin is the law. This is why we're so scared of death. The sting of death is sin. We know that sin is, but how do we know sin lives in us? It's because of the law. The law condemns us. And the law of God is written in his word, but also written in our hearts. See? And so therefore, when we come face to face with death, we're so scared of it because we don't really know what will happen to us. Let me tell you, if you're a believer, if you're a Christian, if you're a person who's trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ, who has received the forgiveness of sins, see, this is what will happen to us, see? Jesus has erased the certificate of debt. All of us have a certificate of debt. It says there, this is to certify that Ma'afupalo is a lawbreaker. Taken by Jesus, nailing it to the cross. This is why we don't look at ourselves, because you keep looking at yourself and your achievements, you will become despair or hopeless, see? Because we, we're not stable. We need to look to Jesus, the person who has done the complete work of forgiveness for our sins. Only through him that we will receive forgiveness of sins. Only through him that we have come to receive justification for our sins. Because our debt's been taken by him. So this is why Paul's message is saying, let it be known to you brothers and sisters that through this man, this man Jesus, forgiveness of sins being proclaimed to you. Everyone who believes is justified through him from everything that you could not be justified from through the law of Moses. So everyone who believes is justified. Fauci. Autotu 
neongo no a au e taha fakala te la frofrotonu tau eki Mujeke ki meo ndano paula e fanongo e kauta e tui fakata e ta e tokai pe na wofo he mena e hoko wofo he ilo e pekia si sukala isi ko meo ma e fakamole mole e angahala wofo ta ku ma e si sukala isi fakatonu ka ki na tui na tokia na wofo pe na to panau matafiat ko fi meo o ma uinga hen ko kauta e tui e matafiat he ko suke meke ki na tui na to ki meo ko ni neo ngono fakamatala Mula tai tui ko meo fai ngofo ko fakan na tula tai tui. Ko hamo beo malanga i ko spiri he ku ilo o to lahe nge tai tui he tui. Ko he ku fakan na tula be ke te tau to lue ke o te tau tui falala ke he ko spiri he ko he. Ko he fu ilea ko he ke ta ke matafi. Ai ko as ko he te ai ko ana ki fu i kongo be ko he te nau sio of pa nau matafi a tu. Ko he fu ilea ta tau ngo a ke na ke he kei na e he ane. Aya, musik ini mau kau kita itu, kau yang ane ya kekei nape mau kita itu, kau alubi yang matafi, matafi yang aku tope. Oh si, aku aku uinga aku nino kau kita itu, kau biar fanong ke follow follow ya tua, kau yang ane ya kekei nape mau aku ni almu ya, oh si, matafi, kau alubi yang kita itu. Kau musik aku uinga kita itu ya, he kau ngau ya aku follow follow, kau uinga nau aisea, uinga aisea batang aisea kau yang fikau batang ya tua alu lea ke kakai kau na. Isleri, mau fanongo aya ka ikai ata, pea mau mamata aya ka ikai ilo, so ya ngawe palofita, koe faka kuih ki nautul, koe faka tuli ho nauteringa, mea tatau na hoko ngawe eko si suklaisi, kono uhinga ya na ikai te naulawa ke tui ki eko si suklaisi, koe ko toelea aisea ope, kone faka kuih ho naumata, faka fefeka ho nauloto, ke ote nausio ho naumata, pe ilo ak ho nauloto, Pea tafoki mai kau fahamu oi gina oto. Masa kaya ai koi koi ngawe koi eike koi si isu kala isi. Fanongo kei fuka kai koi ni. Pauna ihe na si isu kala isi an pehe kai tola kai pauna ihe na si isu kala isi tola kai kai tui kai mori kai mamao. E ta tau tof pe. E alwe kai kai mei ai. E fanongo pe tau fanongo pe kei sio hengai mana kai ta e tui pe kei. Koi hui fuka fe feka hai folo fola yo tuai ho tau loto kei tau tui kei. He koi mei ok hoko ku faka kui e he o tua e tuu koi ni. Aya tamai yoi kau tae tui, kau hi ke ona hulu iya iya. So kwe koi, kwe kai koi paro parem fakai tamai yoi tae mahi noi kau speli, yoi tae mahi noi foro foro, yoi tae tui ke foro foro. Kwe uwi ngai ngawe te volo fakai kui, ai loto yoi kakai koi, kwe mo ilo yoi malanga yoi kau speli, oku hange hakakala ngangatu. Kwe ngangatu oi mate ke fai ngata, kwe ngangatu oi mo ui ke fai ngata, yoi tamai paula koe. Fai ngako fakai tau ki mala, kwe kau speli, kwe ngote ki nato kwe ngangatu yoi mate. Fai ngako fakatau ke mo'ui, wong ade ko speri ke te knau tol, ko nga ngatu ya oe mo'ui, pe hai ku ke he tui, ko hi ke nau ma'uai ae mo'ui, pa pe re paro pa ko hai tu fe unga ma fu mea pe he, aya ko ya ngai si tau tu ko en i he ko speri tau ilo ko mea fai ke he, so ke, tau mai ai ko uhi ngai ki fu i kongo ena ngai vai ta tolu be es fa ta ha, neo ngo e fanongo e fu kakai ma to ko is le yen kakai ae o tua. Nen au fanongo pe ke mea kon al mo paula mo pane pasa. Kai 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 nau tui ki nau tol ke ai. He ko fa kui, fa fe feka, he o tua e tuu ko e ni e nau mo oi ke nau ta e tui ke mea kon. Kai ko fa amo a ko ki tau tol ko e ni. Ton ke mo oni lau e belu vai tol ki vai te kita tol. O ki kai ko e ha holo mo oi ki tau tol. Mo oi ki ha ki hala ko i tongo ko e ha hala holo mo oi e pato. O ko ki tau kau to to e alo e hala ko ia. Kau tahu tu lepas kau kau halo mui tahu tu, kau kau hak tu, kau ngai hak alalah he fonua, hak havea, hak havea, kau fui hak kau langit tak habe kau hak tu. Kau hak ayah kau faham kita tahu kau kita tahu kiai, tahu ngai mata kari kita tahu kita faham kau kau hak tu, kau mak umai hotel lau mari. So lastly, we are committed to the spirit called to preach the gospel because unbelievers will vanish away. Let's read this together. So beware of what is said in the prophets does not happen to you. Look, you scoffers, marvel and vanish away, because I'm doing a work in your days, a work that you will never believe, even if someone were to explain it to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. You see the emphasis here? There will be scoffers listening to the word. They will marvel, but they will not believe. They will marvel at this idea that God has forgiven our sins through the death of Jesus. They will marvel at the idea that through Jesus we have received justification for all our sins. But they would never believe it. You will never 
believe it. Why is it hard for people? Well, uh, the, the word for vanishing there, you know, marvel and vanish away, is the same word for moth eating the rust and destroying it. So in other words, that's what happened in unbelievers' lives. It's like the moth eating away on them. Because they're unbelievers. See, the moth of their unbelief eats away on them and eventually destroys their lives, right? They're destroyed, but it's self-destructive. Unbelief is self-destructive, right? But here is the reason for unbelief. You see, this is the call of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament. God said, uh, God said to him, go, say to these people, keep listening, but do not understand. Keep looking, but do not perceive. You see, this is a strange call, a prophet we're bringing the word of God, but that is what will happen to the people. When we speak the word of God, it hardens their heart. And it's the same thing that happened in the ministry of Jesus. This is John 12. This is why they were unable to believe. Jesus had been teaching them. Jesus had been doing some, a lot of great miracles. We saw before that a lot of people left him. But this is why they were unable to believe, because Isaiah also said he has blinded their eyes, hardened their hearts, so that they would not see with their eyes or understand with their hearts and turn, and I would heal them. See, God has done it, but also it's the God of this age. God uses Satan to blind the minds of unbeliever, unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light. It's impossible for them. They might come here and, and listen to this, but it's possible that they're blinded. See, they, they can't hear it. Sometimes I, I believe that the root of it's idolatry, that there is something in their hearts that they worship more, they love more than their love of God, and they've become like that, those things. The idols, the idols have eyes but don't see. They have ears but can't hear. So idolatry leads to this blindedness of minds. But you see, the, the the proclamation, the preaching of the gospel is the fragrance of Christ. To some, it's the aroma of death. To the unbelievers, preaching Christ is the aroma of death. For, for them, it's just the smell of death, right? Because they don't believe. But for others, it's the aroma of life leading to life. So there's always two kinds of people inside here today. There are people who are leading their, their lives leading to life and they listen to the good news of Christ Jesus with the forgiveness of sins come from him and they rejoice because that's them and there are people who say to themselves well I don't really need to this this uh, this message because I'm okay I'm okay in the world I can manage my own life right but you see and this is what Paul was saying to the people in Pisidian Antioch the Lord is working in your days a work that you will never believe, even if someone were to explain it to you. So this is why we need prayers. Every time we meet, to listen to the word of God, every time you, you read your word, we, we need to pray and ask God so that we may believe. Because we are not those who draw back and are destroyed, but we are those who have faith and are saved. May God bless our hearts with his word. Let us pray. I've, I've put up the prayer points in there so that we know what to pray about. Let's pray. 